This is Goddess Girls, Athena the Brain. Chapter 2 First Day The nine-headed lady behind the counter in the front office stared at Athena with all eighteen of her eyes. You must be the new student Zeus told me to expect. Startled, Athena tried to decide which head to reply to. The grumpy green one, the icky orange one, the impatient purple one, or... Before she could answer, the heads all spoke at the same time again. Athena, correct, from Earth? Athena nodded. Finding her tongue at last, she said, I'm here to register for classes. Miss Hydra! A noisy group of students had come in with questions. All but one of the ladies' heads turned away to answer. Right then, the orange head continued to Athena. You'll find your class choices, your locker combination, and your dorm room assignment in this packet. Miss Hydra shoved it across the counter to her. Classes are in the main building, floors one through three. Dorms are upstairs, girls on floor four and boys on five. Any questions? Um... Athena's head was spinning, just trying to remember everything. She pulled out the class list. What had happened to philosophy, rhetoric and mathematics? She wondered. Instead, she saw a list of classes she'd never heard of back at Triton Junior High. She checked off five of the choices. Heroology, Spellology, Revengeology, Beastology and Beautyology. She wanted to learn as much as she could, as fast as possible. Miss Hydra looked a little concerned as she handed over five text scrolls, a different coloured one for each class. Five classes? That's quite a load for your first semester here, are you sure? The woman obviously had no idea who she was dealing with. Everyone back in Triton knew Athena was a brain. Still, if she'd had time for second thoughts, she might have dropped a class. But a lyre bell sounded in the hall behind her, and she was worried she'd be late. Sure, I'm sure. Juggling everything she'd been given, she headed out of the office. Wait, don't forget this! Miss Hydra tossed her one last scroll. It was pale pink and tied with a sparkly silver ribbon. The words, Goddess Girl Guide, were written on the outside of it in swirly pink letters. Thanks, Athena called. The sundial outside the window in the courtyard showed she only had ten minutes to find her locker and get to her first class. As she hurried off, she turned her head this way and that, taking note of everything, so she could tell Pallas about it when she wrote to her later. The academy was so beautiful. There were gleaming marble floor tiles and golden fountains, and the domed ceiling was covered with paintings illustrating the glorious exploits of the gods and goddesses. One showed Zeus battling giants who were storming Mount Olympus carrying torches and spears. Another showed him driving a chariot pulled by four white horses across the sky while hurling thunderbolts into the clouds. That was her dad up there. Suddenly, Athena felt a pang of sadness. Pallas would have loved this. If only she were here to see everything too. Other students rushed past Athena to class. She stared after one with a scaly tail and horns, goggled at a slimy one with webbed feet, and rubbed her eyes in disbelief at another that was part horse. Three girls in particular caught her attention. Even among other amazing immortals, these girls stood out. One was extraordinarily beautiful, with long, shimmery golden hair. Another, whose hair was short and black, strode along confidently, with a quiver of arrows slung across her back and a bow hanging over her shoulder. Third was delicate and pale, with curly red hair. All three had graceful figures and wore flowing gowns called chitons, a fashion that was all the rage in Greece now, and their skin shimmered lightly, just like hers. Heads turned to follow them as they walked down the hall. As Athena gaped too, she saw that identical gold necklaces with dangling double G-shaped charms hung from the necks of all three girls. Hey, goddess girls! Someone shouted to them, waving. So, 
that was what the double G stood for. This is a challenging but fun book to read. I recommend it to anyone who likes high school books, Greek myths, or the fantasy genre. Mr. O approves of Goddess Girls, Athena the Brain. <laughs>